hello friends welcome back to my channel again thanks for watching this video if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe so that all new videos will get delivered as a notification as soon as i get uh, uh, uploaded okay uh, let's get into the session for today in this today's video we are going to learn about how to perform skybox server upgrade uh, this is on the virtual uh, skybox server side but the steps would be same for uh, skybox appliance i mean uh, even if it is a virtual or a physical appliance so this step will apply for any type of uh, upgrade from uh, any type of version upgrade from any version to any version that you are performing okay let's get into the session now as soon as you log into the skybox server using a ssh mode um, please consider that you have to have uh, admin credentials to perform this uh, skybox server upgrade either uh, you can go by the default username which is a skybox view and uh, uh, the relevant credential or you can use uh, um, the custom created admin privileged user id okay so you are on the console um, before you start to download the next version that you wanted to download from the internet uh, you need to make sure the uh, skybox server has a internet access uh, either it could be through a proxy server that you have in your environment or you can uh, ensure to enable a relevant uh, uh, destinations on the perimeter firewall in order for skybox server to communicate to the uh, skybox server cloud okay so here I'm going to perform the upgrade up, uh, in a CLI per mode perspective. So let's let's see what I'm gonna do step by step. So you are on the uh, um, SSH console. Use the command called wget, and then uh, the version that you wanted to download. As soon as you enter up, uh, the URL, press enter. And then it will start to uh, download the um, uh, file from the internet. Main thing to consider here, you need to uh, move to uh, opt folder under skybox in order for the download file to get saved temporarily. So use a command called cd space uh, forward slash opt forward slash skybox. In that way, you will be uh, uh, pointing your download location to. Uh, that specific folder okay the file get, got downloaded right now so you need to use a uh, uh, dot forward slash update tool dot sh command to get the download started for you so before the download sorry before the installation start to happen um, it has to start to perform the backup of your configuration and your appliance so that will be completed uh, and it will be take uh, it will take maybe like a two to three minutes of time frame okay so the upgrade uh, is been started now as the backup was already completed okay uh, let's get, wait for some time to upgrade to uh, finish um, for the sake of for this video i'm going to pass the upgrade to, to complete because it's gonna take maybe uh, another 10 15 minutes uh, have a cup of coffee and come back by the time the upgrade will get complete after 13 minutes of a time frame uh, the uh, upgrade is about to complete uh, after uh, the upgrade is completed uh, we will verify what's the server status that will be seen under the server log so we'll wait for it to complete and uh, we'll uh, uh, initiate uh, the server log uh, information for us to verify uh, what's the stage that the server is currently waiting on to get uh, the upgrade uh, to be completed okay the upgrade was successful uh, we'll go to <coughs> server log file for that uh, tail f tail f forward slash opt skybox view server log and server log server dot log 
so right now it says elastic search database process started successfully we'll wait for the server to come up uh, fully <clears throat> so meanwhile uh, uh, i wanted to explain you one uh, quick thing uh, uh, before you do a next upgrade i mean if you are performing uh, uh, a major version upgrade say for example here i am performing 11.1.1502 11.3.130 so in this before you do the minor version upgrade you have to do the base version up upgrade which is 11.3.0 after which you have to do 11.3.130 so in that way uh, uh, the upgrade path uh, will be followed i'm sure that you will get this uh, information in your uh, um, skybox support as well but uh, just making sure if you are performing any major version upgrade you have to keep remember that you are doing uh, base version first and then uh, uh, next minor version as a followed upgrade right now um, i'm completed downloading the uh, the minor version upgrade of 113150 sorry 130 um, it's now downloaded and uh, in order for uh, the uh, installation or upgrade process to happen fast i'm stopping the sbv server sb server uh, process so that it will get completed little uh, soon so henceforth i'm started stop that and then uh, let uh, this um, service to stop and then we can initiate uh, the upgrade process so it is always good to verify your upgrade status under server log uh, i'll uh, put the command i mean in the description about the commands that i have used tail f uh, forward slash opt forward slash skybox view forward slash server forward slash log under uh, under log server dot log file has to be seen okay so the upgrade process has been initiated by with the help of uh, dot forward slash update tool dot sh it will take some time to uh, get it started meanwhile uh, since we stopped the sb server the um, backup operation also will get uh, will not be performed because we already backed up the uh, <coughs> uh, database uh, just recently in the previous version upgrade we don't need to perform uh, uh, the same step again so that's the uh, that's one other main reason for me to stop the sbv server uh, uh service okay let it complete meanwhile uh, i'll pause the screen and i'll uh, um, try to uh, catch up in the closing section okay the upgrade is about to complete uh, um, we'll verify the status of sbv server input command forward slash etc forward slash init dot d servers ser sbv server status it's supposed to show as running yes it is running um, it's the time for us to uh, i mean upgrade the client version uh, when you try to communicate your uh, server from the client that you have as old uh, as soon as uh, the authentication is successful the client version itself uh, will uh, start to upgrade automatically that's the way it is uh, supposed to react um, I'm just verifying the IP address of the server, um, 10.32.2.97. I'm verifying that the authentication is whether, whether getting successful or not. As soon as the uh, authentication is successful, uh, the uh, uh, client that you have installed on your machine will start to uh, upgrade automatically. I had some issues in uh, communication. Uh, I was able to reach the server uh, through ping and uh, i was able to verify the server status as uh, the service also running but uh, uh, even though i'm not able to take the server uh, on the sky skybox view manager console hence for i'm restarting the service in order to do that uh, go to the sbv server uh, slash etc init d sbv server restart by doing so uh, the server i mean the service will get restarted uh, automatically so this is the way you have to uh, react when you have a problem in 
in the way of a communication between from your client to your server so i'm taking a second session to the server uh, uh, through ssh just to verify yeah, the server log status because i'm uh, already trying to stop the service on one console um, what i'm using a different console to verify what's the server status under the uh, server log again use the same command tail f opt skybox view server log server log so it's i think it is in this last stage of uh, booting up or uh, initiating the app uh, database process let it complete restarting of a service is almost complete uh, uh, we'll wait for uh, the status to show for us uh, go to the same server log section to verify the server status uh, i think the server process has, has been started successfully uh, we are good to initiate the session i think yes as soon as i initiate the credentials uh, i mean input the credentials to the server the upgraded process of uh, client has been started it will take uh, maybe like a 10 15 minutes time frame uh, based on your system uh, capacity um, once the upgrade process is completed you should be able to take a console of uh, uh, skybox server i mean through skybox manager console ensure that you do the upgrade of a server first and uh, perform your uh, client version upgrade because the client uh, client upgrade will automatically happen through the server as soon as you initiate the communication after you upgrade the server so you don't need to uh, worry about uh, performing the uh, client version upgrade again um, similarly you have to have the same version of a server in your uh, uh, client in your manager which is a client if you have a lesser version it won't be able to communicate or even if you have a higher version it won't also communicate so both server and client version should have the same version in order to uh, make a connection okay i think uh, uh, i was able to explain the steps associated with uh, the skybox server upgrade um, both the client as well as server uh, and i will ensure to provide the necessary links and commands what i have used in the whole uh, upgrade process i hope uh, the video is uh, useful for you uh, if you have any questions so please uh, don't forget to mention it in the comment i'll be happy to answer for you uh, please keep watching and uh, please uh, share like and uh, comment um, it will uh, help to uh, motivate myself thank you